encountered a gym creeper today. Obviously, this guy's not dressed for a Bruh. workout. And he just gym like creeper, bro. Why don't you leave the guy alone? You're blasting him on social media right now. Just like he came with jeans. Come as you are, right? What happened to that saying? <laughs> low key, low key. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a be a gym creep also, like. And you, you probably have to play with your tongue also, you know, like. Yeah. Gym girls get rejected by men at gyms. Without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. All right, you guys. What do you do when you see a gym girl with a tripod and camera? Okay. Nothing. You mind your own business. Damn. Looks like she never skips oh. an average day. I just have to say, he's 100% right because if you look at them or if you even try to help them or even try to talk to them, you're a creep. So I am 100% behind the guy that, hey, just leave the girls alone. Don't talk to them. Don't, don't even try to help them because it's just going to be recorded and then she's going to post it out on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, and people will be making fun of you. Now here is mm -hmm. a small sum gym interaction. Look at when that, this bro. stepsister got stuck under the barbell, Step Bro showed up for rescue. He saved her and- And this is getting very dangerous. You have to think twice. Oh, I might, a, hey, I might make somebody feel uncomfortable. This is what happens when women constantly are making fun of guys and posting them on Instagram and just making them look like idiots. And something which I've noticed also, it's like, if you let them struggle, then they're going to appreciate what you do for them. Instead of just being there all the time. Yeah, baby, I can. Yeah, I can. Nah, bro. This is 2024. This year, we say, hey, you're a strong, independent woman. Go for it. Show me your strength. Go for it. And she appreciated his help. Oh, hi. How are you? Ah, uh, Sam. Okay. So, there was this guy at the gym, and he was bench pressing, and he had two twenty fives on each side, and he was barely making it. So I offered to spot him, and he was like, "Uh, yeah, I do need help, but." I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ask that guy. I'm like, okay, dude. Perfect, perfect. A taste of your own medicine. This guy was attractive. That's why you went there, try to spot him. You did not want to spot him just because you wanted to, you, you found him attractive. That you did not add in the story. The only thing you added, I just tried to help this guy and he was super mean to me. No, the guy said, hey, I do not want you to feel uncomfortable. I don't. A lot of women are complaining about it. And if a lot of women are complaining about it, girls like you do not come out with videos where you're saying, nah, those girls are wrong. You don't. So we as guys were just like, hey, they find us creepy and uncomfortable. Guess what? We take a step back. We take a step back. And then, then now what? No, I, I really want to help you. Nah, it's fine. Hey, I'm saying it to you guys out there right now. You know what you should do? If you see a girl is in need, She's carrying bags or whatever. Let her carry them. Guess what? Let her carry them. And if she complains, fine. Just, A, I don't want to disrespect you. You're a strong and independent woman. Let her be. You going to sit here and die. <laughs> and bear, you know, you're going to let this thing mm -hmm. fall on you. Yeah. Then to get a, a woman's help. Yeah. All right. All right, my guy, do you, okay? Like, I, Perfect. I don't know. That's just sad. And bruh, she's not... This girl's super interested in the guy. Because she wouldn't even make a video about this. If she didn't care, she'd just be like, okay, hey. 
I didn't even think of it twice. But she went into her car after after the session. Because you got dissed. The guy's not interested, bro. That this is bro, this is game one on one. A girl comes up to you, she's trying small talk, bro. I'm not interested. I'm I, I'm actually focused. Then she then she's gonna be more interested. Bro, all these guys that are simping, stop with this OnlyFans, bro. Stop. Stop gassing these women. Stop it. I mean, well, rather sit there and die. Let this thing fall on you. Yes. Than to get a woman's help. Yeah. To spot you. I rather. Okay. The gym is full of angry and frustrated women. <laughs> women who come to the gym to strictly train and achieve their fitness yeah. goals. But they can get no help from men. Because certain women invaded the gym with a tripod. Listen, why don't you just go to your only women's gym? That's it. I don't need a man. We don't need them. Go to your only women's gym. And we go to our only men's gym. And then let it be. We're there to focus. We're there to train. This is the thing which I've noticed with so many of my friends, right? We're at the gym. We're laughing. We're having a good time. We're, we're joking around. Bruh, she's got makeup on when she's at the gym. Why? You're there to train. Why are you doing all this extra, the tights and all of that? If you're there to train. Bruh, have on some sweatpants. Focus. Put the hoodie on. Focus. I love that. The clip of the guy which is just like, Hey, honestly, I just, I just want to work out. I, I, I don't want any problems. Because she can very, very easily switch the conversation or shift the narrative when she comes like oh this guy was so interested in me i dissed him ah brah and you you are the one which started talking to me i was just doing my workout i didn't want any trouble daniel alves is in jail right now imagine the barcelona player daniel alves is in jail because he saw a girl at a party was dancing a little bit with her she was like hey let's go into the bathroom let's get it on He's like, okay, why not? And now he's in jail. He lost everything. He's in jail. So I'm just saying, bro, don't always trust people. It's super easy. Ah, yeah, let's... Nah, bro, just be like, okay, hey, I understand. Let them be. And if it's coming easy, don't take it. And ruined the gym culture, hmm. which was built on support and respect for each other. The gym is the only community that brings all races, Look at all social classes, and all professions together without discrimination and prejudice. Yeah. The gym went from this point mm. where we were helping and supporting each other. Look at that, bro. Do it again. Look at that, bro. Ah, oh, bro. No, 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 no. Don't, don't hold her. You're making her feel uncomfortable, my guy. Look at this guy watching me while I was deadlifting. Look at that. Bro. He saw that I failed and came over to respectfully give me some great pointers. Bro, and that's the crazy part. The guy could just be looking because he's maybe looking at your form. Like, oh, she's doing, oh, she's got that, oh. Bro, that's that's not right, huh? Look how low it is right now. Like, mm. that, how indented that is. And then when you start, when the bar starts moving, look at that, bro. Damn. Very nice, nice guy. I'm so grateful for all the support I receive at my gym. Look to at this. That, bro. 
when social media fitness influencers came, they stormed the gym and ruined the gym culture. Encountered a gym creeper today. Obviously, this guy's not dressed for bruh. a workout. And he just gym like creeper, bro. Why don't you leave the guy alone? You're blasting him on social media right now. Just like he came with jeans. Come as you are, right? What happened to that saying? Come as you are. Maybe he just wanted to come there, try today, look a little bit around. Okay, ah, uh, okay, ah, uh, I'm not really in shape, but he at least came there. But you're, you, you took your phone. Look at this gym creep. Going from machine to machine, staring at girls while they were working out. And I literally stood next to him for so long and he didn't even notice me. This is so annoying. We come to work out not to be leered at. And Bruh. yes, I did record, uh, report him to the front desk and show them the video. What a creep. I hate this. I hate this. I hate when there's sweaters. It's so uncomfortable. Feral, 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 feral. <laughs> like fucking feral. Low key, low key. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a be a gym creep also. Like. It's the staring, it's the, it's this part where you're like. And you, you probably have to play with your tongue also, you know, like. Yeah. Mm. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, don't do that at the gym. Do not do that at the gym. But he's not being a creep. Yes, he's thinking maybe, maybe his girlfriend just left him, bro. And he's just like, bro, like, <sighs> you know, and then looks at the girl there and it's like, oh man, you, you, you don't know what people are going through. That's what I'm saying. Always small talk with people. The guy on the bus there, he could be one of those, you know, you know, the, I can't even say it on YouTube, but he pressed the button and then, you know, it goes ho boom, it goes ho blam, it goes shabam. One of those guys. So, you know, talk to him like, hey man, how, how are you doing? I'm having a horrible day. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to press stop and get off on the next stop. Just in case, bro, just in case he blows up the bus, it's because, ah, oh, fun night. Damn it, now I said it. But just in case he blows up the bus, you know, you, you got off the bus and then the bus explodes. I'm just saying, small talk is always good. Good to talk to people. Pound town. Nigga, eat me out. Excuse me? You don't have to do that. It's okay. No, no, it's okay. I got it. Thank you, though. And when I stand up for myself, he threatens to call the police and revoke my membership. <laughs> oh, Lord. But isn't he like a trainer there or something? Ooh, creeper. Oh, my God. Do you need something? Damn. Do you need something? Do you need something? Okay, I thought so. Bruh. Just come in your sweatpants. Why are you doing all of that? Or just go to an all-female gym. Easy! Oh, Keep the cushion. Ooh. <laughs> I don't own the gym, I, I work here. Okay. Yes. And, and if you're getting what? rude, then you can leave. That means what? I can call the police and have you trespassed mm -hmm. right now. Damn. Would you like that? Go ahead. Okay, cool. Go ahead, let them know. That's what we do. So right now, I'm just take your stuff and hit up front. Gradually, the gym started becoming a dead zone for men. One thing which I have to say to women, if there are any women which are listening, be careful with how you talk to men. Be very careful. Not every guy has this thing in his head where he has to respect women. He has to not overpower a woman. When you start yapping and you start, you know, running your mouth, some guys, they, they get violent. So I'm just saying like, bro, you always have to, like, it doesn't matter. That's, that's, 
how I am. It doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman, I'm always respectful with everybody. Have to be careful not to be absent-minded and lose focus. Mm. Have to be careful where they stay. Even while waiting in line for a machine or equipment, you have to make sure you are not looking at the girl using it. <laughs> this is what tripoders have turned the gym into, a dead place. From a fun place that you can't wait to be the next day, just after the training session, to where men are refusing to help women. No, mm. so they don't need my help. <laughs> Why I gotta be me for? Back up, back up, back up. I'm in the set, back up. <laughs> no, if you're not scared of helping, just go help her. I'm busy. You don't see me doing a set? How about you go help her? Why, just because she has a tripod, you're not gonna help her? Bruh. No, I'm doing a set. You're not doing a set, so go help her. But she literally asked for someone stronger. You're strong stronger than Can you do more weight me because I couldn't Wait, why help you? Her. I tried to help her and so I couldn't. So there's a lot of niggas stronger than you. No, I know. No offense, but. <laughs> no, <it's> just, <laughs> yeah. not much. You're yeah, a big guy, true. bro. You're a big guy. That is true. Seems like you're a pretty thirsty kind of guy. Yeah. So you weren't just looking at my fat, juicy booty? <sighs> yes, I was. You were? Yeah. So are you asking for my number? Yeah. But you were just staring at me? Yeah. Why? Staring at me. Are you feeling what I'm feeling? How did you see that I was staring at you? Just just a question. How did you how do you see? Weren't you staring at me? So you're doing the exact same thing as I was doing to you, apparently. Okay. I'm just gonna go. Go. And bro, they're not even funny. That's the crazy part about bro. How is, bruh, like, how are these, some of these girls even making, like, a million on OnlyFans and even on their YouTube, bruh, they're not funny. Actually, my weight's over here, so we got this way. If you know what those two words mean, you are much smarter than the girl who was Ow. screaming at me at the gym. Let me explain. I'm standing there doing a tricep pushdown exercise, and since I can't see, I'm just kind of staring off into space doing my thing. Halfway through a set, I start hearing footsteps that seem like they're coming in my direction, getting closer and closer and closer, until all of a sudden, this woman's right up in my face going, I didn't come here to be stared at. Huh? I didn't come here to be stared at. Oh, Jesus. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm blind, I say to her. Her response? I don't care. Oh. Stop staring at oh, me. Oh, God. Huh? Yeah. She storms off. Yeah, you was... gym creep. Yeah, you blind creep. Man, misogynist, narcissist. Back with the manager a couple minutes later. What? I reach into my wallet and pull out an ID card from the Massachusetts Commission Damn. for the Blind and explain to this what? guy as well. He's 5'9. I... He's like me. He's as tall as I am. I'm blind. I wasn't staring at anybody. <laughs> he says, okay, but you still can't make other gym members uncomfortable what? by looking at them. <laughs> I have a girlfriend. Go away, please. Uh, I have a girlfriend. I have a girlfriend. Can you hear me? Oh, perfect. I have a Since the advent <laughs> of modern women's journey of equality, the Me Too movement, and feminism, there is no establishment that modern women have gone oh to that God, has not faced bro. one problem or another. They came into the family system. The divorce rate shot up. They got into the corporate world. Many men began to lose their jobs. Many men, Companies many, began many, to lose many, money. Many, many, many. And now they got into the gym. And men began to boycott Look gym and own private me. gyms. And gyms have began to lose money. <sighs> men are rejecting and avoiding women in the gym because that's the only way to avoid being embarrassed and dragged for a thing they know nothing oh. about. You might go to the gym and decide to help a woman. And then your partner or your kids would show you a video of yourself yeah. being labeled a creep the next day. Look at that. It's bro. that crazy. Great video. Anyway, guys, like, comment and share. Uh, have you guys ever been in a situation where you have been a gym creep, apparently? I have never been in that situation, but then again, when I go to work out, I usually try to train very early in the morning or later at night. And usually at, when I wake up, if it's like at five o'clock and I'm training, then usually there's, there's not so many women which are at the gym.